today we're going to debunk if higher voltage gives you a better return on your Garmin electronics. Today I have a GPS map 8612 and I'm going to screen record at different voltages down to like 10 or 11 volts all the way up to 20 volts and I'm not going to show you the voltage so you can determine if you think the higher voltage gives you a better result and at the end of the video I will show you what the different voltages are so you can determine for yourself. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay. You kind of see that out there at 70 feet and I'll show you my settings before we get too far. So 100 foot on distance, 25 foot on depth. I have uh, low noise reject, off on ghost, off on TBG, 73% color gain and 46% color limit. All right, so we'll get started with the minnow bait here. Let's see, where'd we end up? You can see it out there at about 65 feet. And this is an eighth ounce bait, so it's really small. We might actually catch a fish while we're doing this, it'll be fun. There's a fish right there, see if we can catch him. Probably a carp. So there you can kind of see what that guy's looking like. Nice return, right? Oop. Fish almost ate it. Did you see that? He's still on it. He's still on it. Little guy. Okay, there we go. That is the eight ounce minnow. Okay, we'll go ahead and glide bait. Glide bait's there at like 55 feet. Just saw it there for a second. Hang on. 60 feet, 65 feet. That's the glide bait going down right there. Now we do have some waves here, right? It's summertime on the lake, so it's going to bounce around a little bit on my foot. Kind of trying to hold our position here, but there is the glide bait. All right, voltage B. We've got the eighth ounce minnow going out right there, and about 65 feet there. See it falling. All right, right there, almost to the bottom, coming off the bottom there. Just kind of bringing it. Probably get snagged on this rock pile. Getting a little too close to it. There we go. Let me drop that down. See if there's a fish on the back side of it while we're here. And there's not. Anyway, there is voltage B, eight ounce minnow. Okay, now we got the uh, voltage B glide bait. Let's see. Man, where'd we end up? There we go. 55 feet or so, falling. Pretty slow fall right there. Coming out there at the top of the rock pile. All right, there's that one. Okay, so that was the glide bait and the minnow on voltage B. Let's go ahead and jump to voltage C here. Okay, voltage C, eighth ounce minnow. Just landed about just shy of 60 feet, it looked like. Just barely got out there. It's over the rock pile right now. There, it's just coming out of the other side there. There's fish on it. There it is. Now, of course, I'm not worried about clarity of the screen, right? And this is these are the settings I use. I like these settings. I like the noise. It shows me what I want to see. So, this is not a test of which settings are better. Okay, here we go. Glide bait, voltage C. Get the best cast, 70 feet there. And 
And there's the glide bait out there. A little school of fish right there. Those are probably little shad, I guess. They're pretty small. Where are we at? There we are. There we go. And again, this is a 100 foot setting, 100 by 25. You know, not everybody really runs that far. I'm just kind of showing you the extremes. Okay, that's Voltage C with the glide bait. All right, here we go. Minnow, Voltage D. Just landed about 60 feet there. Now, this might be a little bit worse on this one. I'm going to give it that. Let's see. Let's see, I'm having a little bit of trouble picking it up. There it is. Maybe not. It'll actually, yeah, it's certainly there. I would say this one is worse. So I'm going to help you cheat. This one's worse. I'm having a hard time picking that up. All right, that was voltage D with the eight ounce minnow. Now let's go ahead and go to the glide. Voltage D with the glide. 65 feet there. Somewhere. There it is. It's falling down. It's about eight feet down there. There it goes. There's the glide bait on voltage T. I want to see if that fish will get it. Oh, that fish just came up and smoked it. That'd be cool. Okay, there we go. Voltage G. Okay, if I'm doing my job right, I should be able to show you all four of these at the same time. This is me casting the eighth ounce minnow. Now with that, which one do you think is better? Uh, there's one that I noticed was, was far worse. I'd say far worse. It was definitely harder to keep track of my bait. And um, that was D. And D was set at 11 volts. It's at 11.1. So I would definitely confirm that voltage below 12 uh, would say had worse performance. And then I'm curious what you think the other three were. Um, I'll let you think about that for a second. I saw no difference, uh, honestly. It went all the way up to 21 volts, I think it was. The second, the, we started at 13. I think I took it up to 17, I'll show on the screen. Took it up to 21, and then it took it down to 11. 11 was bad. I really noticed no difference whatsoever, anything above 13. So that's my opinion. I'd love to hear what you think you saw. I know it's a little bit tough. I can't do four voltages all at the exact same time on the exact same screen record. But uh, this is the best way I can convey this to you. Honestly, there's, there's no difference to me. I will continue running my 12.8 volt batteries on my live scope. This is also obviously running the GLS 10 and black box. And if you found that interesting, I need you to like and subscribe to the channel. That would really help us out. We're gonna do a lot more live scope content here coming up. If that's ready, check it out here. If not, we'll show you a good video as well. We'll see you on the next one.